gas. It looks like we this might be the last gas station until we make it to our campsite. Brandon went to go pump gas. Uh, I'm just waiting for him in the car. And we still have about a 20-25 minute drive. So, nothing too bad, but we definitely lost some time because there was a big accident on a kind of a, just a two lane road. And we were probably there for at least 20, 20 minutes probably 30 max um but yeah let's take you through what's inside um our passenger seats um we stopped by got some mcdonald's um we've got our water bottles ready for the weekend brandon's snack of choice is beef jerky and Sokka enjoys it very much excuse the seats this truck is very very old but it has a lot of memories, a lot of love. Um, his dad bought it for him as a Christmas gift. Um, I don't know how long ago, but it's not been very long. But it has a bunch of memories and hard to get rid of. And it's, it's been great. It's proven it's worth and these camping trips. Yeah, we're taking it out for the weekend. It's been since the last camping trip that we went on. Um, to Talladega. My snack of choice was some boiled peanuts that we picked up from the side of the road from this sweet old man. Um, they are delicious. Only thing that are missing if there are any um, people who love boiled peanuts and are Hispanic, you'll know that if you add some lime and some Valentina hot sauce, it's it'll change change the way you eat boiled peanuts for sure. But um, Saga's in the back. Um, we'll just wait for Brandon to come back, but just a little update for you guys. Um, so yeah, actually, map is still up. We have about 22 minutes, so not too far. Um, I know Willie and Sane are maybe about same distance apart right now, because I think they pretty, they caught up to us because of that traffic that we were in. But we will probably hit, um, you know, the beginning of the trail at the same time, but... We'll check in in a couple of minutes and see what we're doing. All right. Peace. Welcome back everyone, my name is Brandon Almaraz and welcome to Bad Ventures. Uh, today we have a great adventure coming up. We are in the Blue Ridge Mountains in Georgia and we're on Rock Creek Road. As you can see, it's raining. Uh, we're going to be camping with a couple of family members, having a good time. We have our dog Sokka. We're going to be trying to set up our camp. Hopefully it lets up a little bit and we can set up everything, but we're going to see how it goes. Stay tuned. Good morning everyone, welcome back. So, update from last night. Yes, it's the next day here. We ran onto the trail, Mariana and I. Hello. Yeah, we started going on the trail. 
got a little sidetrack with a couple of side trails and um, um, every camping spot we were passing it was taken we had to be very aware of our time I think we got there around what like 7 30 mm -hmm. the start of the trail uh, so it was raining it was getting dark quick um, we started going through the trail we did not meet up with Willie and Sane uh, who I'll introduce you a little bit later we pretty much reached the end of the trail I think it was about seven miles and we got the very last camping spot so I didn't get to film too much it was raining it was chaos we were going everywhere um, but now we're set up it's the next morning as you can hear hopefully you can hear this it's it's still raining be cautious of our activities how we're going to do breakfast uh, Sokka's actually sleeping in the back of the truck we left some windows open uh, for him it's just muddy it's just a muddy muddy morning but we slept great maybe at the beginning it was a little hot but now it's it's better uh, we stayed dry for the most part uh, the rain fly works great we have the marmot three person tent right mm -hmm. um, and it was uh it withstood the whole night raining the entire night at one point it was just storming where we thought oh man we're gonna have to get out of here and just make a run for the truck we just hear a thunderstorm coming in it was just bad um, so really impressed by this tent uh, we could tell that definitely the condensation was building up we do have some of these little flaps that maybe you can see right right here and it prevents condensation but um, it works for the most part it definitely keeps our inner one a little less wet but the middle section is definitely um, damp so you don't want some of your clothes or bags touching the middle right yes I learned that this morning my bag is actually a little bit wet at the top but on the inside it withstood too um, it's just because it was against the condensation right here and um, this top layer is just not um, water resistant yep. but overall the bottom of the tent did really well yeah pretty impressed by everything so awesome so stay tuned we're gonna be figuring out what our breakfast situation is gonna look like we do have a tarp set up so hopefully we can uh, start a fire or use our grills under that if not, it's going to be in the truck. Good morning, everyone. So we're back here on site. This is Willie. You guys have probably seen him in another video or so. But he's going to be sharing with us what we're doing this morning. Willie? Yeah, thank you, Brandon Northern in the studio. Yeah, we're here. Cooking breakfast, as you can see, we're about to start cooking breakfast. Uh, slept pretty good, a little bit wet last night. Rihanna cooking, chopping up the potatoes and all the ingredients. Uh, that's Oops. pretty much it. Back to you, Brandon, in the studio. Now we have our morning breakfast slash lunch. We got burritos, eggs, sausage, potatoes, veggies. Sokka looks like he wants one. Thanks to Mariana, our great chef. Yeah, as you can see, you got some burritos. Give you a little. 10 out of 10, Mariana outdid herself. Got some coffee to go with it. Brandon over there uh, 
choking on the smoke while he's filming me. Sorry guys. <laughs> Lots of smoke out here, but we're about to start eating. Sokka's gonna have his meal as well. Um, we brought his dog food, but of course he gets some of our cooked food. So here we go. We'll see where we're going after this. We're probably gonna hit the trails. Look for a good viewpoint maybe. I know there's a scenic trail that we're gonna try to um, ride down. It's what, like eight miles or something, a little more? Uh, so we're gonna go take a look at that. But uh, yeah, we'll update you guys when we hit the road. scenic route that we were talking about it's uh i'll get the name of it and uh, let you guys know but we're pretty much airing down uh, saying in my truck because uh, we're feeling it pretty bumpy once we got on here it's very rocky we've probably been on here maybe i don't know 200 meters and we're probably already really high you can kind of see the road down there but we're just going to air down to a more manageable uh, pressure for the tires maybe around, for myself, around 18 PSI, and then uh, we'll continue the trail. Hey everyone, we just made it up the scenic route and look what we came across um, up here in the mountain. We're very high up. We found an open meadow and it's absolutely beautiful. Um, earlier, it was really, really quiet. Now you're kind of hearing some wind come through and uh, the crickets and chirping, but man, it's it was it sounded so, so peaceful, so quiet and it's fresh. We got a cool breeze up here. Looks amazing. Uh, the route's going great. Uh, Sokka's out exploring with uh, Sane. And this is amazing out here. Really enjoying it. Uh, it's fresh. It's cooled down. So uh, we're getting some sunlight and it just is breathtaking for sure. We found this little side trail off of the one that was by the meadow. And it's actually very steep with huge holes and mud holes and all that. And here I go struggling. But I made it. We're getting to the top of this place where we scouted already. And it looks amazing. But for a two wheel drive truck, is struggling a little bit. Um, Mariana's already here at our spot. We're just, we just had to go get the vehicles since we hiked for a little bit. We made it up and I'll show you the campgrounds in a second. Here. 
through the Blue Ridge Mountains, walking with Sokka. And I just came across a gorgeous view. So, just wanted to show it to you guys. It's pretty amazing. We found a great camping spot, not too far from that meadow that I showed you guys earlier. So let me show you what, what I'm looking at right now. Look at this. I can't see any type of buildings through the thick woods in the mountains. I found a little trail, like just a little um, hiking trail and I'm like, let me just go take a quick look. Oh my gosh. Did not disappoint. Ready, son? Let's go. Good boy. It's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> you can barely make out our campsite. All the way down there. See the little orange and blue tarp? That's us. The meadow is down just that way. Directly forward. It's pretty cool. Sokka loves it out here. I think at night he is kind of scared though, so. He's not used to being out in the dark too much. But he's been running with us through the trails and man, he's having a blast. Of course, if we're near other campers, then he's on leash or in the truck. But he loves it. We have camp set up now. Trucks are all parked. Tents are set up. Well, tent is set up. And then we have a rooftop tent for Willie. And the Honda CRV for Saint. And this is our campsite. We have a huge fire ring. We have all our items set up. Our little kitchens. Water. Food. We're about to start dinner. Um, we went for a small little hike. Sokka went for a run. And this is our setup. Some people have already taken naps. We have our hammock set up as well. And the temperature is pretty good. It's not hot. Good breeze that comes through every now and then. Uh, so you can kind of hear the wind. But then there's points where it just goes to a standstill. And it's, it's a very eerie feeling out here. But it's pretty cool. I am actually drying our rain fly to make sure it limits water going in. We had no issues with water going in last night, but we did have a little bit of condensation. Um, we got a fan going in there now, and Rihanna's taking a nap in the, uh, in the tent, but overall we have a great setup, and we're enjoying this location. It's very secluded from the road, like this is a little side trail down there right where you see a little lighter green area um, that's the meadow and then from that it connects to the main uh, trail and up towards down this path towards the left right here that's where we went up towards uh, that plateau area where we got to see uh, the surrounding mountains it was awesome we're having a lot of fun so hopefully you guys are enjoying this and um, let us know what else you would like to see on these adventures. Would you want to see uh, dinner setups, food, cooking, equipment? Just let me know. Good morning everyone. It's the third day here of camping. We're having a late breakfast because of the same issue that we had last night. Wasp. If you go check out Willie's channel, you'll see his 
little adventure that we had on chasing some wasps down. It's not raining too much. It was raining throughout the night, but not this morning. It's just little sprinkles. We just started the fire. Hopefully the wasps don't come back because we've already seen them in the morning. I finally got a cup of coffee. If you know from Willie's uh, video, you'll see that all my coffee was spilled last night. I haven't had a cup of coffee in two days, and it's messed with my adventure here. We have a good breakfast, and we'll have a good day. Well, we cleaned up our campsite. This little off-road trail that we're gonna exit, I'm gonna have Willie go first because I do feel like I am gonna get stuck. He has a recovery rope and a tow hook so he can pull me out. Uh, and then Sane's gonna go right behind me. He does have all-wheel drive at least, so he should be good. We should be getting there around maybe three or so. It's like a little afternoon right now. So we should be good. Sokka's in the back. He's wanting to run, but he's not running tonight or for today. 